Problem 11 is focused on calculating mean annual increment. Um, in this class, we're defining mean annual increment as only merchantable wood. So we're looking at pulp wood, chip and saw and saw timber or products. Uh, you could calculate a mean annual increment that included non-merchantable wood as well, but we'll focus on merchantable wood this semester. And so when I start with mean annual increment, if I know the units on mean annual increment, that really helps me answer this problem. This really isn't too difficult problem. Um, so MAI, the units are tons per acre per year. This is one way to write out that fraction that helps for our problem. And so let me simply add up all the tons per acre that went on the log truck over the course of the rotation. So if I start looking in my thin, I remove 13 plus 10 plus five tons per acre of my various products. And then my clear cut, I removed 42 plus zero plus 64 tons per acre of my various products. So over the course of this whole rotation, I removed 134 tons per acre. And so now to calculate mean annual increment, the 134 tons per acre was removed over a total rotation length of 32 years, our problem has given us. So I take 134 tons per acre divided by 32 years. You don't use the age of a stint net, use the whole rotation because mean annual increment is an average over that entire rotation. And this gives me a number of 4.2 tons per acre per year. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully you can see how the units make sense on that. So if you remember the units on mean annual increment, it makes this problem very easy. Um, for lava like pine silviculture in the south, uh, a stand managed very hands off, extensively low uh, intensity silviculture. You're not using much herbicide fertilizer. You don't have great genetics. You may be looking at three tons per acre per year. Kind of average silviculture, you might be getting six tons per acre per year. A good stand with good genetics and good silviculture, you might be up to nine. And if everything's going fantastic, you know, you have great soil culture, great genetics, and a really good site, you get lucky, you might be hitting 12 tons per acre per year. So that gives you kind of a range to interpret uh, this number. So in this particular stand, maybe it wasn't a good site, maybe our soil culture wasn't great, maybe the genetics weren't great, maybe a combination of all those factors, maybe there were insect and disease issues. This is kind of a below average for what you'd be hoping for. So that's being manual anchor. 